All right, so we've got the bucket assembled and there's one last step. As you recall, I put holes in the bottom for drainage. So you have two choices there. You can either just let any um, liquid waste that accumulates drain or you can have a way to collect it and utilize it. And that is what I'm gonna be doing with this second container. So in order to be able to collect the liquid, I need a way to harvest it. So I'm using one of these, uh, normally they're used on like water containers to dispense the water. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of this bin so that I can remove liquid. I've had issues in the past with trying to attach things like that to the front. Um, this curve here just makes it hard for the drill bit to go in flat and even, and sometimes it splits. So instead, I usually put it on the side. And again, I am using a hole saw, one that is appropriate for the size of this, so that I will be able to slide it onto the bin and then secure the back piece. So now with the hole drilled, I'm going to place my spigot piece here and secure the back. So I put a little water in my bin just to make sure that it's working, it's not leaking, and that when I push the button, liquid comes out as designed. So then the last step will be to take the Black Soldier Fly bin and place it in the empty tub with the spigot attached. But I wanna make sure that it's not sitting in liquid. So I put a couple pool noodles in there just to elevate the bin so it's not sitting in any liquid that accumulates. So this is the spot where it's gonna live. It's under a tree, so it gets lots of shade, which I think helps cut down on any smell that uh, composting material might put off. It shouldn't put off any smell if it's functioning properly, but having it stay cool helps. So I also want it to be tilted forward so that when I press the button to let liquid out, all the liquid is toward the front and it comes out as I've designed it to work. So I've placed a piece of wood in the back just to help it lean forward. So I've placed it up on the pallet because that makes it easy for me to slip a container under here to collect liquid that comes out. And as you can tell, it's tilted forward. So any liquid that accumulates will be toward the spigot. When I press it to release the liquid, it'll come on out. So the final step is to add food scraps. So I've already added a lot of material. There are some fruit flies in here, as you can see, and there is a black soldier fly. So it is working as designed. And as I keep up with draining the liquid out, the fruit flies will dissipate. I personally always set up a system like this away from my house, <laughs> just in case there are any fruit flies, which sometimes there are. It just depends on the time of year. This is sort of fruit fly season. Um, it keeps it away from my house and away from my door. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.